quite a lot of brushes selection in here. Let's see what else they have in the cloud. Wow, there's so many brushes. Even Halloween pumpkins. Yeah, no. Ho, ho, ho. I'm broke. Wait, no, not broke. I'm F2P, free to paint. <laughs> Yeah, but with this many free brushes selection, you can still create beautiful drawings without spending a single cha-ching. Now, something that I can't find in Medibank is Liquify Tool. Yeah, I don't think they have it either. But, but, do not fret. If you go to select, there's Mesh Transform, which is similar to Liquify. Not as flexible, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. I wanna try the line art brushes. So far, the best brush for me is this one. Just a regular pen. Wait, we have to turn on Stabilizer. Where is it? Oh, it's called Correction in Medibank. Whoa, there are 40 levels? Holy sh- I mean, even Ivy's pen only has like 10 and already your line art is neat AF. Medibank got 40? Your line art will be as stable as a, 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 a mountain or something. Wait, Medibank also have like manga creation tools, right? Oh yeah, when you create new canvas, you can choose between standard or comic. There are some templates you can choose from. Dojinshi, manga, yonkoma. What's a yonkoma? Ah, the comic with four panels. Gotcha, gotcha. And USA comic. Let's try manga. I will be making some panels. Oh, the arrow change into slicing tool. Oh, this is so easy. You just go shing, shing, shing. Okay, I'll stop. This is really interesting. I think I'll make a separate video. <laughs> oh, what is this alpaca? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I'll make a separate video talking about the comic creation in Medibank because this is all so interesting. And in terms of line art, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Medibank is tidier. I, I don't know how to express it, but I feel like my line art is tidier and neither. Neither? Huh. Feels weird on my Indonesian tongue. Neater. Okay, what I'm trying to say is my line art looks better in Medibank, even with only a regular pen brush and my correction level is only 10 out of 40. And I'm not even making that much effort to make my line art more stable because I'm just gonna paint this later and I'm obviously have no idea how to draw snakes. Uh, I tried to make it adorable, didn't work. Oh jeez! Yeah, so I'll be seeing this on the foot of my bed. Okay, so I got reference for the snake. Oh, would you look at it? Oh, so cute. Snakes, man. Snakes. Snakes are so cute, okay? They're just misunderstood. Yeah, but as cute as it is, it doesn't fit the overall illustration. So I will draw a more suitable snake and we have to say bye-bye to our cute misunderstood snake. I will add soft shadow as per usual, just using regular airbrush, nothing special. One thing I don't like is when I make a selection using lasso tool, the other area becomes purple. And so when I'm applying color, I can't tell how it looks like on the portrait. Like, after removing the selection, I think the shadow is too light for my liking. If you know a way to remove the purple overlay, please let me know in the comments and share your knowledge with the rest of us. There is this one brush that caught my eye because first, it's free, okay, remember, F2P. And second, the texture. It looks really nice as blush and on the nose because the texture is not too rough. It's almost like watercolor. I will start painting his hair. There are quite a lot of comments asking me to do another hair tutorial. I'm, I'm working on it, trust me. It does take more time to make because for real, hair is quite tricky to paint. But trust me, I'm working hard on it like I'm working on this video. Don't believe me? Let's take a little peek of how hardworking I am. What? You're on camera. Huh? Oh, hey! I didn't see you there! What's up? <laughs> hey! I didn't see you there! What's up? I've been working all morning. Very cool stuff you have there. Oh, I thank you. Well, can you tell us what it is? Yeah, it's called a comic book. It has a lot of pages. It's entertaining. It's... I, I meant the drawing tablet. 
Alright, thank you to Sense Labs for sending me this magnificent tablet. Yeah, I try to be smooth by making that bit. Anyway, Sense Labs sent me this tablet to review, and their product is really, really unique, special even. Because first of all, this pen case, okay, which has oh, hold on, hold on, it's upside down, which has not one but two pens, like Sense Labs, so generous. Uh, you lost your pen? No worries, Sense Labs got your back, buddy. But wait, that's not even the best part. You see this remote? Look at this. Huh? Huh? Is this cool or what? Yes, this remote serves as keyboard replacement for shortcuts. So no more reaching for your computer every time you wanna undo, okay? It's bad for your back. You will have beta posture. Look at that. Look at how ergonomic that is. I'm, I'm not sure I use ergonomic correctly in a sentence, but you get it. You can also customize the shortcuts in the remote to your liking. You might notice there is no cables inside, which brings me to the second best part. Yes, no cables! I mean, they still give you cables, but let's ignore that for a minute. Remember the pen case? This little guy right here is a wireless connector, which you can plug into your computer and you can draw without any cables. Man, I really hate cables. I'm a, I'm a cable hater. But Fong, what is this cable for then? Well, since they're wireless, the tablet and remote run on battery. So they do need to be charged from time to time by connecting them to your computer. But from my experience, the battery lasts really long, like it's been 3 days since I last charged it. Oh, and by the way, during unboxing, I realized when you take off this part, there is a pouch for your tablet. It's huge and surprisingly fluffy, like legit. First time I thought this was a pillow. You, you can even sleep on it if you want. If you're interested in having this tablet, there's 20% discount code you can use on your purchase, so go check it out in the description box below. But wait, there is more! Me and Sense Labs will be giving away one drawing tablet to one of my viewers. More on that later in the video, so keep watching. Wink wink. Thank you Sense Labs for sending me this amazing tablet. Now let's get back to the video. Medibank Smudge Tool is good when you use it in very low opacity, but I still think it's too strong when applied on the skin. So for the skin shading, I just use the acrylic brush in low opacity to blend. Okay, let me paint the snake real quick. The blending modes in Medibank is not as many as Ibis Paint or Procreate, but I only use 4 of them anyway, so let's start with Multiply to deepen the shadows. I will add some makeup and saturated colors with overlay, and let me add some highlights first. Let me see the filter. Oh, there's Tone Curve in here. Tone Curve is like the chat of color adjustment. Wait, Japanese pattern? Oh, oh okay, this is pretty cool. Will be very useful for background and clothes and... Oh, there's even a turtle pattern. No. No snakes though. I'm really curious about these functions here. I think they are rulers. Oh, I was right. Genius font. Nah, it was pretty obvious. So this is a radial line ruler. You can make lines focused on that um, point in the middle. That's a really bad way explaining it, but you get it. But my favorite ruler is the circle because I cannot, for the life of me, draw a perfect circle. Aside from the art features, what I really like about Medibank is the community. If you click here, you can see this window open. There is Art Street, which is their website, I think, where you can showcase your artwork and also resources, like if you make a custom brushes or patterns, and my god, my internet is so shit. Or if you're looking to get some materials from other creators, some are on sale, which is great. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Medibank to say all this, okay, just a quick disclaimer there. But for a free drawing app, it's really smooth, features are comprehensive, uh, aside from Liquify that is. But if you're looking for a free app, Medibank is a great option for digital art. There you go. And before I forget, the Sense Labs tablet giveaway. Remember I mentioned I wanna make a separate video for comic creation in Medibank? Well, I'm planning on drawing a single manga page featuring my OC, Kaede. Kaede meet viewers, viewers Kaede. He lives in a cyberpunk setting. He is called to people, uh, he doesn't talk much, but he really, really likes cats. He befriends a stray cat. If you remember in one of my shorts, it's this cat. Oh, by the way, the cat can talk. Fun. 
Wong get on with the giveaway already. So to join the giveaway, I want you guys to create a dialogue between Kaede and the cat. Not too long though, since I'll be making only one manga page, kinda like this one. Make it as funny or as cringe as you can stomach. Don't worry about making Kaede OOC, I haven't given him much backstory anyway. Write the dialogue down in the comments. The funniest or the cringiest dialogue will win one of Senselab's drawing tablet. Don't forget to follow Senselab's Instagram and YouTube channel. It's one of the requirements from Senselab's. Don't worry, you don't have to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. But also please subscribe, it's free. I will write down the details of the giveaway in the description box below. And yeah, can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Again, thank you Senselabs for hosting the giveaway. Go check out Senselabs, link in the description. And let's end this thing. Bye!